thank you. Thank you all so much. I want to thank you. I want to thank you and all the voters of the 6th District. I am humbled by your trust and by your faith. I just spoke with Richard to say and thanked him for his commitment to the people of this district and for adding his voice to this debate. We ran against each other, but we both ran because we are committed to public service and because we care about this community. I am proud that our race has been held up in recent days as a model for how races should be run and how politics should be conducted. My commitment to public service started in college with the decision to join the Marines. But since leaving the military, I've spent a lot of time focused on efforts to expand opportunities for all of us to serve. From the example set by the greatest generation who answered the call during World War II and continued to serve after they came home. America's newest generation shows renewed and growing commitment to public service. Adlai Stevenson said, patriotism is not a short and frenzied outburst of emotion, but the tranquil and steady dedication of a lifetime. When we have, when we have a lifetime commitment toward each other, to building better communities and ensuring a better life, not just for ourselves and for our families, but for all of us, our leaders in Washington will respond in the same spirit. And isn't that why we're all here? To come together as Americans and get to work to rebuild our communities, to rebuild our country, and to ensure our future is even brighter than our past. It is not about what's right for the Democratic Party or what's right for the Republican Party, but what's right for America. And it's about what's right for our children and our grandchildren. That's why I'm here. And you know as well as I do that we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot more work to do to bring good jobs to the 6th District. Congress says it supports small businesses, but I talk to small business owners all the time who can't understand why they pay a higher tax rate than many of the biggest corporations in America. That's not right, it's not good business, and tonight our work begins to change that in Congress. We have a lot of work to do to rebuild our infrastructure. The gateway cities have so much potential. Just look at how far Salem has come. We can expand the blue line to Lynn, improve transit. improve transit from Gloucester and Burlington and update our infrastructure everywhere. Let's build it together and let's bring some of the most innovative companies growing out of Boston right here to the 6th District. If you're listening to Seth Moulton, he is accepting victory.